hopped into our elephant sighting. How great is that? He's just walking through the bushes. I think it's Tingana. Looks like him straight off of the bat. How cool is that? He literally just snuck across the road while we were watching our two elephant bulls have a fight. I'm going to reposition quickly so we can get a nice view of him. I think he's a bit startled by the elephants. That was hilarious. Ferg and I were going, oh, this is so great. Look at these elephants kicking up the dust. It's so beautiful. Hey, excuse me, you go away. I'm, I'm trying to view a leopard now. You guys are old news. Anyways, if it wasn't for them, they, they didn't even see him. He snuck right behind them. That's beautiful. And I think just from looking at the stunning view as he's positioned himself on that termite mound where the elephants were fighting. How cool is that? So that must have been whose tracks we saw earlier today. Very, very nice. I'm going to call the sighting in very quickly on the radio. Let me just do that. So I do apologize, but I I think it, it does look very much like Tangana. Station's just located in Madonna Ingwe, quarry off of Gari Main between Shibamo and Weaver's Nest, mobile in a northerly direction, one a lock. <coughs> no, it's, don't worry, it's fine. He's, he'll, he, that elephant is obviously trumpeting at us. Tangana's standing very still. Looks like Tangana. I'm going radio down though, I'm live at the moment, um, so you're welcome to make your approach. Right. Excuse me. It's our friend behind us. I'm just watching our little elephant friend. You can see Tingana's also watching him. Are you trumping at me or at the, at the leopard? I'm confused now what he's, what he's doing, but Tingana's hiding in the grass, as you can see. Alice, can you confirm that everyone is saying that it is Tingana, though? I just wanted 100. It looks like him. We'll try and look for that... Yeah, I think it is Tingana. I mean, I only had a quick look, but just straight away, that massive dewlap. He's got very neat ears. We can look for that smiley face, which should be down on his shoulder, on his left shoulder. Yes, I can see the smiley face. Look how cool it is. And I can see that smiley face just on his shoulder, too, through the grass, too. So it definitely is him. He's beautiful. So that trumpeting that you all heard there was from our one tusking friend who's making the strange sounds. And I think that's why Tingana's sat down in the grass. Because if he is spotted by these elephants, they're going to chase him. But he looks like he's keen. He's on the move, which is very nice. I'm happy that we've now solved the mystery as to which male leopard tracks we had just coming out of Little Gari. So he was in Little Gari, he was obviously doing a territorial patrol, and now he's come back this way, he's come home, which is very, very exciting. I'm so glad we hung around with these big elephant bulls for all that time. And there he goes again. Now we're gonna do my favorite thing this morning of off-roading and trying to keep up with him. Are you excited for that? Yeah. But please sit up on that termite mound first because that would be gorgeous. Okay. Cool. So we're going to have to, so Ferg, we're actually going to have to move because I can't go straight up that bank. I'm going to have to go the, the long way around as well. So I'll go up a bit closer. I just need to get myself positioned a little bit closer, otherwise we'll lose him in the stuff. And then all this thick vegetation. We'll have another look at him here. And then at least I've just got to go up a little slope. But how gorgeous is he? He's such a beautiful cat. And I still can't believe how much he's grown just in, in terms of width since I've been working here. He's definitely much larger than the resident male leopard down um, around Sabi Sabi, Lion Sands, and that is Mashabeni. He's much smaller in size. This is a real beast of a leopard. Look at that massive dewlap. The dewlap is incredibly big at the moment. He also looks like he has got a bit of a full belly. Have you got a limp, Tangana? I don't know if he is limping or if it's perhaps just uh, maybe walking on unlevel ground. He's keen. He's thinking. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, where are you going to go? I'm trying to figure out if I can go up anywhere else. I don't think so. Um, it's very unlevel. Maybe he's going to come back down into the quarry again and that will help. Let's see. 
Uh, see, we won't be able to go down. It's very... Oh, no, it's not too bad. Come on, out of gear. Oh, this is our problem now. As the quarry is obviously... Here he comes. Thank you, big man. And down he comes again. Just over here. What are you thinking? He's looking for something. Perhaps he's hungry, or maybe he is just going on a territorial patrol. He has marked once. I could definitely get that popcorn scent that is typical from a leopard urine. Oh, you are going to be spotted by these elephants. They're coming back again. I think he's actually just trying to avoid them too. So he sort of darted across the road fairly quickly. And now he's going again. Right, we need to carry on moving. Now, white lady Eon, you said that he's definitely limping. He has got a slight limp, but that's not uncommon. Okay, now we need to go because we've got to really go the long way around. So that could be from anything. That doesn't look like a serious injury. Oh, now we've got to, now we've got to face these two. No, there's a leopard there. I'm not even bothering with you guys anymore. Now, of course, you can only imagine what's going to happen now. They are going to trumpet at me. They're going to shake their ears, but they're all riled up because they've been pushing and shoving with each other. Settle now, boys. You guys have got the entire Greater Kruger National Park to play. Look at him. I'll just go up here. I will. We'll just go all the way up here and away from you. Grumpy. I'm not going to let them bother me though, and I'm not going to react to them. I'm actually just going to ignore these two boys because their behavior is, is silly. I can see him and just sneak past the edge here. Yeah? No, 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 relax. Relax. Stop being silly. Okay, bye. Look at them. <laughs> now he's called in the, the reinforcements. It's actually really funny. The other elephant, the one tusk, has come charging in now. But I need to catch up to Tingana. Now, Robert, you're wondering how long does an uh, elephant in the wild live versus in captivity? Fur, can you keep an eye out here for me? He was walking just here. He was actually quite far ahead of us. I'll probably, hopefully, he comes onto Shibamo Road because that would be, I think I see him. Yes, I see him. I've spotted him. Checking water mounds, are we? So sorry, Robert. I'll, I'll get to it now. Your question. Um, just going in and out of four by four. Uh, elephants live longer in the wild. It's obviously a less. I think for an elephant, I it's a lot less stressful than it is to be confined in a small space. So. I don't think the quality of life is very good when they live in cap captivity in small areas. Here he is. So. Elephants in the wild can live for up to 60 to 70 years. It's probably around the same sort of thing in, um, in captivity. Maybe slightly less, but again, the quality of life won't be the same. Now I need to just update everyone on the radio. The station Tungana is just passing the Shibamo pans, still going straight north. We are just south of the pans. One unlock. Yeah, so there are other guides coming to the sighting, but hopefully they'll get you and then they can just take over. And just until one of them gets here, we'll keep on going. Here he comes. Right next to the car. Hello, beautiful boy. Just marking his, his territory. I'm just going to duck out of the frame there because he's walking right past. He's hungry. He's looking for something to eat this morning. So guess what we're going to be doing? We're going to be following him for as long as he keeps on the move. Hi, boy. Completely relaxed with the cars. Did not even blink twice. Now he's going to this pan. Let's, let's shoot across quickly, Ferg, so we can get him drinking. Hold on. Just got to do a bit of maneuvering. He's going around that way. I want to obviously get in front of him and go back in towards this pan and then get him actually drinking, which would be nice. There. There he comes. 
go in quietly just like that's how we do it here we go here's an opportunity to get some very 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 pretty screenshots as he laps up all of this water isn't that absolutely gorgeous we are very privileged to be able to do this every single day this is so wonderful so he's obviously had a very busy evening marking and patrolling I don't know when he last ate I don't know when his last meal was it's quite difficult to tell like I said he's got a fairly full belly just being careful now Alan you're wondering if he's fat or if it is his skin this is just Tingana he, like I said he's eaten recently I can't tell you exactly when or what he would have eaten we haven't seen him for a few days now but it's very important of course for a male leopard because you won't believe how they sort of shrink in size when they haven't had a meal for quite some time they almost lose that dewlap whereas now he's all bloated and he looks fantastic he looks in such healthy condition like I said he's not a small leopard he's a big boy he's grown so much in almost a year he's completely changed this is so beautiful so that it, it but predators especially lions and leopards do have a lot of extra skin on their bodies and it's important that they have a lot of extra skin because their way of feeding has got to of course do with gorging themselves so they will devour an entire water buck buffalo impala depending on which predator it is and all that loose skin is necessary so that the stomachs can obviously swell up like a balloon and then eventually start the digestion process because remember they only need to eat every couple of days or so now Kylie you're wondering why do cats drink like that well it's important because as you watch you see how he's using his tongue almost like a scoop and splashing the water up and drinking like that so they have to he's he's laying in a bizarre position they don't necessarily lay flat down on the ground like that but I think he's just probably a bit tired and this is the easiest way to not get your feet muddy is to actually put your belly down on the ground too so sometimes they'll just sort of bend down crouch over you go into a, the downward facing dog position if you're into yoga they do something like that but it's a bit difficult for him to get down right down to the to the water and I think he's also just enjoying the little rest he's been walking around all afternoon I'm gonna be so sneaky right now should we do <coughs> excuse me <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Ferg. As you know, these allergies are just so terrible at the moment. And I hope that you are all taking screenshots and enjoying uh, enjoying this. And you might have a new wallpaper for your desktop, which will be quite exciting. But he drank for quite a while, for at least five minutes or so. He obviously feels good. I can hear some southern ground hornbills calling in the distance. He's marking his territory. See that? He's urinating. Just walking around so we'll get a better position again as he disappears now Josh you were wondering if all male leopards have that dewlap that flap of skin underneath their ne their necks no not all of them like I was saying uh, another leopard maybe you can search for him on Facebook you could put mashabeni it's m-a-x-a-b-e-n-e -E. so it sounds like you say mashabeni but it's not Max Benny, it's mashabeni and I'm just gonna cut through here sorry Ferg We'll just sneak under, we're just going to drop the aerial very quickly. And um, so, so Josh, no, and Mashabeni doesn't have a dewlap at all. And he's around the same. And Mashabeni's about eight, eight or nine now, somewhere around there. He's not a particularly old leopard, but he's definitely in his prime. Much smaller than Tangana. I would have said that they were the same size. Oh, there he is. Oh no, now we've got to try and find a way through here. I don't like to sit behind cats. I think we're going to. No, I don't know. I think we're gonna have to go this way we're pretty locked in here I just don't want to lose him in this thick stuff because if we do yeah, we'll squeeze through this gap right Ferg suck it in both of us <sighs> go through these branches he's checking warthog mounts today I think he's uh, he's turning a bit into the Anderson male don't you think and have a taste for 
before warthogs, but you're going to check them all. Look at these. Can I just point out, look at these crested franklins sitting very quietly here in the sun watching the leopard. But they're not moving. They're not saying a word. Standing motionless. Now I need to get on the radio. Station here, Shibamu Pans. Um, hima, Hima. Now come east into this block. We're just here by this Shidulu. Just quickly calling the, I think it's Rex in the tier. There he is. So there are those birds sitting quietly. Look at Chingana, what has he got? What has he seen? He's very, his ears have pricked forward. He's spotted something. He's on top of this mound. Maybe there's a scent. Maybe there is a warthog den in here. Or warthog burrow, sorry. He's hungry. He's looking for his next meal. This is very exciting. He's like a kitten. Look at him. Every small thing is catching his attention. I don't know if it was maybe a bird or what it was that got him so excited like that. But it was quite beautiful. There he goes down the other side. Now we've got to keep following him. Should we go all the way around? What do you think? I think we're going to have to. Yeah, I think so. We can't go straight because there's a massive log. So I think we're going to have to move some of these trees. Right. <laughs> that bush willow is not, not going. No, I don't know how we're going to get around. Let's see if we can go through this way. It's so thick here. The elephants. I'm going to move that shrub. The elephants have been pushing things away here. And everything around. Swatch of branches. So they've half pushed over trees. Now, these trees are fine to go over because you just go over the top of them. But it's the ones that are broken off at the base. And that stump that's sticking out that can really do the damage to the car. So I just made a way so Rexon could come through because his car can't do what we do. But I'll tell you that right now. Now we've got to figure out where Tingan has gone. He was here. Okay. Well, we're going to try and find Tingana again. He's gone into this very long grass and down towards a drainage line. I'm going to send you across to Brent and the Mara with Sleeping Lions.